out and repeat. By the maker, it's a dwarf. Lord Iducan, what are you doing here alone? Where are your troops? Ah, you have been made to walk the deep roads then. You mean you were exiled? What happened? I do not think matters of dwarven honor or any business of ours. You need not answer, friend. It is not the way of this order to pass judgment on the pasts of others. You've already proven yourself both resourceful and skilled, and I would expect nothing less from an Iducan. I've been searching for those with your level of ability. Your exploits in the deep road set you apart. As leader of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden, I would like to formally invite you to join our order. Then welcome. We leave immediately for Ostagor to join with the human forces facing the Darkspawn hordes led by King Kaelin. Stay close. There are still Darkspawn around every corner. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Kokari Wilds. The Tevent Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment. All of us are here. This blight must be stopped here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a, a royal welcome. I it was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have a mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other warden told me you found a promising recruit. I take it this is he. Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho oh, there, Fred. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. It's good to see one of the honorable stout folk outside Ulmar. Sounds like there's a story behind that. You must regale me with it sometime. I do. I'll make sure to have the finest dwarven brew brought up from the palace cellars. After we've dealt with the bite, of course. I think to Orzuma. King Endrin invited my father to a grand proving long ago. How does Endrin fare these days? Well, it seems your story may be even more interesting than I suspected. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The ones will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. 
I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Logan waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Red Cliff forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Demon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we see no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Logan sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look out numbers. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Yes, we should proceed with ritual. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden at the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge should you need to. Hey, you must be the grave one. Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Win, and the mage is summoned by the king. Well met. And good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our hearts play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between the Darkspawn and the it's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Some say that the Black City was once the seat of Maker. But when the mages from the Devinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. It may be the allegory meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. A wise attitude. It's worked well for me in the past. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. This isn't good. 
I'd hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. This is a Mabari, smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor round swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine in my help, I need him muzzle first. Go the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. into the wilds in time soon. There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Let me know what you'd like. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother. So may she desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Warden by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the plight is how it brings people together. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkborn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Eager, are we? <laughs> Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. You found us, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. 
I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sir Jory, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this here is Davith, a fellow from Benarum. That's me. I'm a fellow. And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. Yes. Let us begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of Darkspawn blood. One for each recruit. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. The scrolls contain tr treaties promising support. Treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then we may go watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Told you all have business in the wilds. The gate doesn't for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Is that... Grey Warden? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to... Return to camp. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Um, I... I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on.